Let's take a brief look at the typical life cycle as an order as it passes through on time. In this example, we'll be placing an order through the on time customer web portal. To do that, I'll open my browser and navigate to my web portal and choose order entry. As a shipper, because I'm already logged in, my information is loaded as well as my address book. So I'll simply choose a, a collection location as well as a delivery location. Ensure that I have the proper level of service selected, any uh, options I want to choose, and then I'll add a description. In this case, let's put in legal paperwork uh, as well as a reference number. I'll ensure that I have my quantity set correctly and then choose the submit order button. Now at this point, the order has been submitted into the system and as a shipper, I have access to printing shipping labels and other paperwork that I may need. Now, let's pause there as far as the shipper is concerned and uh, transfer to see what it looks like from the dispatcher's point of view uh, at this moment. So I'll minimize my browser and go over to the dispatch program and we'll notice our new order has been uh, entered into the system and appears in on-time dispatch. In this case, it's order number 404494. To assign this order out to a driver to dispatch it, I very simply choose from a list of the drivers that I have up top here and uh, drag them onto the order that needs to be dispatched. Uh, once I have that assignment made, I can confirm. And this confirm action uh, not only sends it to the mobile app on the uh, driver's uh, phones, but it also sends them alerts and text messages as configured. You also notice that the order no longer appears in my dispatching board because uh, it has been assigned out. At this point, let's um, minimize that and assume the role of a driver to see what they would view. So I'll open up a web browser here that um, gives us a view of what the driver may see on his phone. Uh, logged in as a driver, I can um, uh, refresh this and I'll see that I have one order uh, pending. Uh, that is the order that was just dispatched to me. So if I click there, I will see that same order number 404494. If I click on that, it'll give me the details of uh, the order, uh, what I need to be doing. And uh, let's go ahead and assume that uh, we're at the point of pickup. So we can choose Mark is picked up. Uh, we can specify the name of the person that we've received the shipment from. Uh, choose a status level and choose OK. Now at this point, the order is considered in transit. And if I go back into one of the desktop programs, uh, we can see how that information is updated in real time. In this case, let's take a look at the uh, management program and notice the change that was made there. So if I go into the tracking view, we'll see our order number right here at the top and the status has indeed been switched to in transit. Uh, so we start to see that no matter what role uh, that we're in, uh, we're, we're seeing this information updated in real time. In fact, if I go back over to my web portal uh, from the shipper's point of view, if I go to the tracking view and look at that order, uh, we can see not only do I get real time updates, uh, but also details, status updates as to uh, the progress of my shipment. Okay, so let's um, move back now to the uh, driver's phone again, and let's fast forward to the point of delivering an order. Again, we'll click on the order that um, we're taking care of here, and we'll choose to mark as delivered. Notice that some information is already populated here uh, based on what the system is able to discern. We'll go ahead and mark it with a status label of finished, and uh, we can also collect a signature here. Uh, so we'll go ahead and do something like this. Hit save, and then we will click OK to submit the order. At this point, as a driver, my work is done. I have zero orders assigned to me, uh, which makes it very clear uh, that I've completed my work. In fact, if I go back to the home page, again, we see my orders has um, uh, no orders remaining for me. Let's go back to the management side and look at how we might bill this order out to the customer at this point. Uh, so again, if we're in the tracking view of the management suite program, 
we'll notice our order at the very top here. Status has been changed to completed. If I double click on it, we could look at some of the details. For instance, the locations tab will give the exact dates and times that the drivers arrive to uh, perform the pickup or delivery. And then if we look at the signature uh, tab, we'll even get a view of uh, any signatures or CODs that were collected. To build this order out, let's go ahead and move over to the billing area and choose unbilled orders. At the top of our list again is the order that we've completed out. This list will show all orders that have been completed or canceled billable and are ready to be placed on invoices. To place this order on an invoice, we'll very simply select it, click the Add to Invoice button, and then choose OK. The order disappears from that list. That's the indication to our uh, accounting person that the order has been invoiced and taken care of. If we switch over to the invoices view, our new invoice number 601 appears here at the top. And if I right click and choose preview, we can see uh, what that invoice might look like. Now at this point, what I'd like to do is make this invoice available for my customer to view uh, online through the customer web portal so that we don't have to mail or email them a copy. To do that, I open the invoice and choose Make Available Online. I'll go ahead and uh, save and close this window. And now if I go uh, over to my customer web portal and we'll move to the invoices view. Here is order number 601, or invoice number 601. Uh, with all of the details displayed there. So that's a quick view of how easy it is to place an order through the system and how quickly and in real time things uh, are able to synchronize between all the individuals involved in completing a shipment. If you have more questions about OnTime, please do reach out to our sales department at ontime360.com. Thank you.